Welcome to Beer Untapped with Perry Miller, the podcast. I'm joined by Seth. Hey, welcome, guys. Thanks for finding us on, uh, on, the, on the internet. Now, these shows originally aired on Brookings Radio, but now they're all here for your enjoyment. I hope you like it. There you go. Sit back, enjoy the show, relax. Uh, let us know if you want to see anything on future shows. As we said, the, this comes out live in the Brookings area, but enjoy this archive episode. Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. Welcome to Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. The 10th Annual Wing and Brew Festival is coming Saturday to Swiftel Center in Brookings. And this year it sounds better than ever for craft beer lovers. We're trying to do it in a little different format this year. We've got some uh, local breweries out of the Midwest. We're trying to, uh, and we're actually going to be represented by the brewers themselves. So we try to uh, really keep it local this year and, um, you know, have a, have a nice, and have a nice um, variety of breweries to show up. Uh, we have, uh, obviously, Wooden Legs, um, local here in town. Uh, Bank Brewing out of Hendrix, Fernson out of Sioux Falls. Uh, Westo out of uh, Okaboji. Knuckle Brewing out of Sturgis, so they just had the rally. I'm sure they're pretty tired. And then uh, Sick and Twisted and Minor out of Hill City. So it's, it's some nice local breweries to, to show up. Plus, we have a couple more who are a little further away. That's Matt Chapman, executive chef at Swift Hill Center. Among the breweries taking part that are a little further away, Tall Grass out of Kansas and Founders from Michigan. Chapman says they're excited to have brewery representatives at the festival. We just have a nice variety, so everybody should be, and there should be a lot more knowledge in the tent this year. Everybody, everybody seems to know about more about their beers when they're brewing it, so there should be a nice, a nice wealth of knowledge in there. I mean, those guys are going to be, you know, fun to talk to and fun to get to know. So I Absolutely. recommend showing up early and, and staying the whole time. They put together some different packages this year to include unlimited beer tasting, even a VIP level beer tasting. An hour before everyone else. You can get the full package. You can go wing, brew, entrance, everything at the Wing and Brew Fest. You can come in and just get some wings if you'd like. Or you can come in and uh, just get the brew if you like. I mean, it's a little different with the packages this year. And uh, we've really tried to kind of hone that into what, you know, the customer wanted. And, of course, in addition to beer, all those great wings and lots of other activities. We've added some bean bags in there this year. We've got, obviously, the volleyball. Um We've also got the car show, which is always there. We've got the wing eating contest. I mean, there's just so much, a bunch of stuff for the kids to do. There's just a lot of things for, for everybody, the whole family to do. More on the Wing and Brew Festival when Beer Untapped continues right after this. Well, on a day hot enough to make the devil cuss, I walked into a bar so thirsty I was spitting dust. Barkeep asked me what'll it be. I said, what you got? He said, well, let's see. We got Lone Star, PBR, Rolling Rock, Shiner Bach, Moose True, Low Duels, Heffenbison, Ziegenbach, Keystone, Coors Light, Coors, we got Red Stripe. Amstel, Amsterdam, and the tall can. Nickelode, Miller Lite, Guinness by the pint glass. Top a block, lager, take his waller, cause it's going fast. Oatmeal, stop, and a lot of line and kugels. Open up your wallet, do time. <laughs> Welcome back to Beer Untapped with Perry Miller as we talk Saturday's Wing and Brew Festival at Swift Hell Center. Seth Cook of Wooden Legs Brewing of Brookings says they'll be taking part again this year. Somebody from the Beatles once said it takes 10 years to be an overnight success. Uh, this is the 10th anniversary of the Wings and Brew Fest, and I think they've been a success uh, from day one. This is year number 10, and they've, they've got even improvements from this year that they had from last year. Uh, we, as a Wooden Legs Brewing Company, in you know, an official capacity, of course, participated last year and will participate again this year. But even as a, uh, even as home brewers, I think we actually brewed a batch of beer out there as a demonstration once uh, a number of years ago. Celebrating ten years makes the Wing and Brew Festival one of the oldest in the state. This is a beer fest that you know, if for a ten years for a beer fest, that's a, that's actually a pretty long running time in our area of the country. There's been maybe a number. A few that predate that, maybe the the one down in Sioux Falls at at Monks, but boy, not very many, not very many can claim that they're older than ten years. Expect some tasty brews from Wooden Legs. We'll probably be bringing a couple of our you know our local favorites. It seems like seems like something popular to do. I believe we'll bring Wild Hair over. Uh, we'll probably bring some three five three over, and then I'll leave the uh, I'll leave the door open on what else we're going to bring. I, I think we'll, we'll probably fit something in from our whimsical series, and I'm not sure what that will be yet. I've only got a couple days to pick, but that's that's kind of the fun running a brewery. For the first time this year, the Brookings Liquor Store will be taking part in the Wing and Brew Festival. Beer guide Drew Eklund says they'll bring their draft system over to Swift Hill Center. Our first time being there, so I'm excited about that. Uh, normally, we have mostly uh, local beer on our uh, keg growler system, and uh, most of the brewers themselves will be there with their local beer. So we're going to have to switch it up a little. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to have on there, but uh, 
I will say that we'll have at least a couple of ciders on there. So if you want to go and your significant other or your friend doesn't like beer at all, but they like ciders, so uh, we'll have them covered. They said it's that time of the year to celebrate beer. So why don't you try something new? Finally this week, what's new at Brookings Liquor Store? Drew fills us in on some new draft beer on hand for Growler Fills. Founders Rubeus, Raspberry Ale, um, 20 cents per ounce, which I think is a great deal. This beer is just pure bliss. I mean, it's awesome. <laughs> it's a beer that even if you don't like beer, you, you have to try it. It's, it's sweet, um, but not overly so. It has a little bit of a, a tart finish to it. It's also light enough where I could drink an entire growler myself, and I probably will. New Belgium Hop Tart is the next one, 15 cents per ounce. If Rubeus is a little too sweet for your taste, and you like a uh, hoppier beer, this is right up your alley. It's got uh, hops and sour yeast. Um, they kind of complement each other. It's pretty well balanced for such a different style, especially as it warms up. Again, it's light and drinkable for the style. Uh, flavors of citrus and tropical fruit with a bit of uh, sour funk to it. Um, it has a nice, clean, refreshing finish. It's not really a background beer. I mean, every time I take a drink of this beer, it reminds me that, hey, you know, this is this is different. This is cool. That's it for this week's edition of Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. We'll see you at the Wing and Brew Festival Saturday. Come say hi. Maybe you'll leave with one of our brand new Beer Untapped t-shirts. Until next time, drink local and drink responsibly. Thank you for listening to this archived edition of Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. Feel free to listen to other episodes. And if there's anything you'd like us to talk about on a future show, please let us know. Thanks again.